to begin the calibration, we'll first start by taking off the plate that is on here. It says ACR technology on it. It'll either be two Phillips screws or two hex head screws. Um, you'll remove those to get access to the six trims and the LCD screen. To get into the program, you'll hold trim three and trim one up. While you're holding those up, turn the power button on. If you hear that, this beeping noise, that means we have not gotten into the program and have accidentally moved some of the trims. So we're gonna move these trims back to center. This bottom one, we'll move it down until it gets back to center. You'll see two parallel lines indicating it's centered. And I accidentally moved also trim one, so I'm gonna move it back to center. There it goes. They're both back in center, so we'll try again. Turn the radio off. Trims three and one up. Turn the radio on. There we go. The screen illuminated blue, so that means we're in the program mode. So if you get an ACR technology screen like this, then you'll take trim three and push up once, and it'll take you to this page one of six inputs. We're gonna go down to page six of six to do the calibration. So you'll take trim three and go down to page six. Once you're in the calibration window, you'll press trim one up once to get to the first parameter, set stick midpoint. You'll take your joystick and you'll go around in a circle and you'll be watching this dot right here and making sure it follows you at the same speed and that it goes back to center. I like to go once counterclockwise and once clockwise. Once you've done that, we'll take trim one and push up once to take you to the second parameter, move stick parameter. You'll take the joystick and go up to the corner. And you're gonna trace out this square all the way around. I like to go once counterclockwise and the second time clockwise at a moderate speed. Looks good. Once we've done that, we'll take trim one, go up once, and it should be set. We'll turn the radio off, turn it back on, and you should not get the throttle warning anymore. If you are getting the throttle warning still, then I would try it again. It might take two or three tries to get that to stick. 